Since the early 1990s, there's been a notable and somewhat troubling slowdown in the productivity of global agriculture. This graph shows food prices since 1990, expressed in terms of a general index. You can see that in the mid to late 90s, there's somewhat of an increase in food prices, but there are two significant food price spikes, one coming in 2007 and the other more recently. In general, food today on global markets is much more expensive than it was 20 or 25 years ago. This is in contrast to the general trend following World War II. Starting from 1950, in general, food prices fell quite a bit. There was even, in fact, a branch of development economics led by Raoul Prebisch, which ascribed some of the fundamental problems of developing economies to the notion that their primary commodity exports, often foodstuffs, were simply falling and falling. Today, it's a very different story. One fundamental cause of the higher prices for food is simply that many developing nations are much wealthier today than before. China, for instance, has been growing very rapidly, and Chinese people are able to afford more food and also buy more meat. This pushes up the prices of many foodstuffs. Of course, this can be a problem for those nations, such say, as Egypt, which are not growing as rapidly as China, because they face the higher world food prices, but they don't have the same kind of growth and per capita income. If growing wealth were the only cause of rising food prices, things would still overall be okay, because there would be more food being consumed. Unfortunately, there's a second culprit, and that is a slowdown in productivity growth in global agriculture. We can see this in the numbers for the major crops. Consider corn. Between 1950 and 1989, the yield for corn has gone up by an average of 2.83% a year. From 1990 to 2007, the rate went up by only 1.5% a year. Of course, that's much slower. Or consider yields for wheat. In the immediate post-war era, yields for wheat grew on average 1.7% a year. Since 1990, they've almost stopped growing, and on average it's gone up only 0.15% a year. There's also been a slowdown of gains in rice production. That's gone from 2.27% a year to the lower number of 1.37% a year. It's not obvious why agricultural productivity is now improving at a slower rate. It is true that globally the world is spending less on agricultural R&D. Nonetheless, a greater number of countries are experimenting with agricultural R&D at advanced levels. It's not obvious why the overall rate of progress should have slowed down. Another possibility is that after World War II, scientists were able to exploit the advances which were easiest to capture and most readily on the table. Sometimes this is called the proverbial low-hanging fruit, and that today we face tougher scientific problems that will take us longer to crack. In due time, further agricultural advances at the old rate may be forthcoming, but in the meantime, we are waiting for a comparable burst of scientific progress. The slowdown in agricultural productivity growth may not seem like a very exciting or a very sexy topic, but it's actually one of the major problems the world faces today. We have growing demand for food, and productivity is advancing somewhat in agriculture, but not nearly as rapidly as we would like. For further reading on this topic, I would recommend the listed sources here.